Whereas in 1998, you needed a bulky Jeff Bezos kind of style setup to get your work done, nowadays, all you need is your smartphone. And not just any work, I'm talking full video creation. So you don't know how to edit a video, not a problem. You don't know where to find high quality footage, not a problem at all. Can not do a quality voice over yourself, most definitely not a problem. Why? Because the world's best mobile AI video generator has arrived allowing you to go from prompt to a full video within just a few minutes. Whether you're at an airport, in the spa, or wherever you are, you can get it done on your phone. But let's put it to the test. Can it actually make great videos without you lifting a finger? And can it actually create a full faceless video with voiceovers sounding like Morgan Freeman and David Attenborough, which is what it claims it can do. Because of that, let's try and recreate a wildlife documentary kind of style video on my iPhone right here. So the app that we're going to be using for this is called InVideo AI. Once you download and open up the app, this is what it looks like. In order to get started, we can click on Create AI Video from Scratch. Once you're here, all we need to do is give it a topic and detailed instructions and it will generate a video for us. So because it claims it can recreate voices that sound like David Attenborough, what I want to do is create a video about the seven natural wonders of the world. So here's my prompt. Create a five minute YouTube video about the seven natural wonders of the world. Make it cheeky, use a bit of dark humor, and use an old British man voice that sounds like David Attenborough. So all I would need to do now is click on generate a video, and then what it's going to do is going to create a full video for us. Meaning it's going to create the script, voiceover, as well as select all of the clips, and then generate a full video out of that. Within a minute, they'll now ask you this, which is step number two. For what kind of audience would you like to create this video? Is it travel enthusiasts, nature lovers, or humor fans? It's definitely not the latter, so I'll go with travel enthusiasts. Then I can choose the look and feel. It can either be dramatic, epic, or professional. I'll go with professional as I'm trying to recreate the wildlife documentary kind of feeling. The platform isn't even gonna be YouTube, so I'm now gonna click continue, and it's gonna generate our full video right now. Depending on the length of the video, that might take a few minutes. So while they're creating my video, I guess it's a good moment to tell you how you can access this for free. I'll leave a link in the description down below that allows you to sign up for NVIDIA AI, the mobile app, for free. This means you can try it out yourself for free, see if you like it, and in case you do and you're a bit more serious about creating videos with this tool, you may upgrade to a paid plan which allows you to create a ton of videos with prompt video technology without any watermarks whatsoever. So that took about 3 minutes and the video is now done. First of all, very curious whether the voiceover actually sounds like David Attenborough. Imagine a world where mountains breathe fire, rivers run wild. Yeah, it does. That sounds pretty cool. Let me now play the default version for you. And then after that, I'll show you how we can change the voiceover, add subtitles, change the clips, as well as change the script to make it an even better video. And we can do that in a way that you've probably not seen before. In a world where mountains breathe fire, rivers run wild, and the sky dances with colors. Welcome, dear viewers, to our planet. A planet that houses the ethereal Aurora Borealis, the majestic Grand Canyon, the fiery Paracutan, the thunderous Victoria Falls, the picturesque harbour of Rio de Janeiro, the underwater marvel of the Great Barrier Reef, and the towering Mount Everest. This is insane, I mean, the fact that we just gave it one prompt, it generates a script, which is pretty good, but then it has a voiceover that sounds like that, plus it has accurate high quality clips added to that, is insane all on a mobile phone. Now, even though I like the result it generated, let's say that I don't like it, I can regenerate the full video with just one click of a button. In the bottom left corner, you'll be able to locate the regenerate button right here. When you click on that, you can then click regenerate, reselect who you're making the video for. For example, instead of going with professional, you might wanna go with epic, click continue, and then as you can see, it will regenerate the result. So that is a simple way of having the video done again in case you don't like the first result rather than editing everything yourself. If I want, I can also preview this in full screen mode by clicking right there, as well as put it on 1080p if I'd like. So this is crazy. Let's now figure out how we can customize our video because this, remember, is just the default version. The first thing I wanna do is add subtitles to the video. Otherwise, it's not really a documentary kind of style video, right? Plus, research has shown that if you put subtitles, people are less likely to click off simply because they're actively engaging with the video because they're reading. So I can either do this myself, but what would be cooler is by simply giving it a command to do so, which means you don't have to edit yourself. You can click right here and then simply type in whatever it is that you want to do. So I just told it, please add subtitles for the entire video, highlighting the words that are being said at that moment. I'll then click continue. And then as you can see right now, it is updating that 
for the entire video. Let's take a look at the result. World where mountains breathe fire, rivers run wild, and the sky dances with colors. There you go, I simply told it to do it and it actually did. Now what if I don't like the opening clip? I can either tell it to change it, just like I did with a prompt, or I can also click on edit right there. I can then find the clip I wanna change, which in this case is the first one, and then either upload footage from my phone, or I can click on stock and then right there I can search for whatever clip I want to use. Because in the intro we're talking about mountains, I'll simply search for mountains in the stock library and I'll choose one of these clips right here. I want to go for a winter kind of vibe. So what I'll do is go with this clip right here, click replace, and then just like that, click apply and that will be applied to the video. The same goes for any clip that you'd like to change. Simply select it and then replace it. Before I export my entire video, I want to make sure that people have a call to action to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So for that, I can go to edit, click on edit script right there, and then change the script that is created right here, simply by selecting that part and then adding it. So for example, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, by the way. And then just like that, that is added right into the script. But of course, you may also give it a command, a prompt to do so. So you could say, add a subscribe call to action for my YouTube channel. Click right there and there you go. It will then add that into the script. Now before I show you the final video that I was able to generate on my phone within just a few minutes with just a prompt into this AI software, keep in mind that in order to export without any watermarks, you do need a paid plan, which I have myself. As you can see, I've got the plus plan on NVIDIA AI, which allows me to get all of the stock footage without any watermarks. So our video is now done. In order to download a video, I'm gonna click on export. Then first of all, I'm gonna make sure that the remove stock watermark is indeed turned on. I don't want any branding, plus I want 1080p resolution. So that is perfect. Click export and there you go. My video is now downloading to my device. It's safe to say I'm very impressed by what an app on your phone can do nowadays. It has really created a full video with a voiceover that does sound like David Attenborough in his wildlife nature documentary kind of style, just like I told it to do. Let me know if you have any questions about the app. With that being said, here's the video it generated. And remember, I'll leave a link for you in the description down below to easily access in video AI. Imagine a world where mountains breathe fire, rivers run wild, and the sky dances with colors. Welcome, dear viewers, to our planet, a planet that houses the ethereal Aurora Borealis, the majestic Grand Canyon, the fiery Paracutan, the thunderous Victoria Falls, the picturesque harbor of Rio de Janeiro, the underwater marvel of the Great Barrier Reef, and the towering Mount Everest. Strap on your boots, grab a cuppa, and brace yourself for a whirlwind tour of the seven natural wonders of the world. First off, we have the Aurora Borealis, the sky's very own disco party, and you thought your Saturday nights were wild. Now, imagine the sky itself, dressed up in its finest hues of green, pink and violet, dancing away to the rhythm of the cosmos. It's an incredible sight, isn't it? This celestial spectacle, my dear friends, is nothing short of a cosmic ballet choreographed by the sun and Earth's magnetic field. Quite fancy, wouldn't you agree? It's all due to the gaseous particles in the Earth's atmosphere colliding with charged particles from the sun. These collisions, much like the awkward bumbling on a disco dance floor, cause bursts of light, creating the mesmerizing display we know as the Aurora Borealis. 